Hi everybody, it's Jeff Setzer, your SolidWorks product manager here at Graphic Systems Corporation. And today I'm really excited to show you some of my favorite new things in SolidWorks 2016. Let's start by talking about the user interface. In 2016, there are some profound user interface enhancements that once you embrace them, will make you much more productive, minute to minute, hour by hour, working with your models in SolidWorks. The number one thing you'll notice in SolidWorks 2016 is something called breadcrumbs. When using breadcrumbs, you don't have to go to the feature manager tree to find the body or the feature or the sketch or the meat. They're all right in a row, all relayed left and right as you select. So as I click on my model, I can go ahead and, ch and change something about the body. I can look at the sketch underlying it. I can add those sketches. I can look at the feature. I can look at the component level aspect of items. And I can even go ahead and see all the mates and even edit them. All the context menus are right there as I click on the different elements, but they're all right together. And I can even bring this directly over the model if I want to by clicking on the model and using the D key. That brings that directly to the cursor. Now another handy enhancement with the D key is that when I'm done in any command, I can hit the D key to bring the confirmation corner, the green check and the red X, directly to my cursor. So I don't have to go all the way to the left or right side of the interface to accept, reject, and edit. This is probably my favorite overall enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2016 because this is the kind of thing you do hundreds of times a day. And if it makes you even 10% faster, probably more like 20% in my experience, think of how much time overall it's gonna save you hour to hour, day to day, week to week. It really is truly a revolutionary productivity enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2016. So one of the subtle but very cool new things, something called the component preview window. What you can do in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is just pick a component assembly and say, I want you to show up in this side little window by yourself. And what happens is two things. First of all, the component is by itself, like a little avatar. And you can easily rotate it and access anything you want in terms of faces or edges or anything like that to make any edits to the part or more importantly, to make selections for mating. So I can go ahead and grab whatever face or edges I want in that component by its own window where it's nice and easy to get access to everything. Meanwhile, the component in the main assembly window turns transparent. So while I'm able to access all the geometry directly in the component by itself in the separate window, I can also easily access all the geometry and all the component parts surrounding where that component was. So I can easily, much more easily than ever before, add mates to a component in a large assembly or edit aspects of a part that's already embedded in the assembly without having to manually turn parts off and hide things or do isolations and things of that nature. It really is a very innovative new way to interact with a component by itself and at the same time interact with all the models around it in an assembly. It's gonna save a huge amount of time getting in those little spaces to get those mates in, those last couple mates in, we have a large assembly. So most of us are doing some sort of assembly mechanism, things that move, and it can be really difficult to wrangle all the flexible components, you know, with all these different flexible mates to get things in position the way we want to, let alone being able to sort of move from one position to the next very efficiently. In SOLIDWORKS 2016, there's a revolutionary new, completely new way control mates called the mate controller. And what this does, it lets me gather all the mates that are relevant to the model. And I have one panel where I can go ahead and set up all the values I want. So I want something cocked over 23 degrees this way. I want something vertical or stretch out 100 millimeters, whatever. I can set those right in the panel or I can go ahead and interactively pose my model while locking some of the other aspects of my design. And then I can record all these things. So not only am I able to get my model to look the way I want to in different positions, but then I have these, all these recorded so I can recall them for playback later on in 3D space. Beyond that, I can take all these recorded positions and dump them out as keyframe uh, points for SOLIDWORKS Animator, or even better, I can make motors out of them to go right into SOLIDWORKS motion simulation. But what this is really going to do for you is give you unprecedented control and flexibility in visualizing your, your flexible assemblies and also being able to control precisely how all the parts are positioned in space.